All right, welcome back to the Sports Max Zone. We're starting this Wednesday edition of the show with football. The Dominican Republic's Mocha FC have qualified for the first round of the CONCACAF Champions Cup after seeing off Jamaican side Harbour View 3-2 on aggregate in their Caribbean Cup third place playoff. The teams ended 1-0 in the second leg in Santiago de los Caballeros on Tuesday night. Mocha won the first leg 2-1 in Kingston last week. While well, Harbourview were inches away from forcing a penalty shootout, hitting the crossbar and having the subsequent effort blocked in the dying moments. Joining us to review yesterday's result is General Manager of Harbourview FC, Clyde Giridini. Good afternoon, Clyde. Good afternoon, Mariah. Good afternoon, Ricardo. Good afternoon to your viewers. Thank, thank you so much. Welcome to our show. Uh, you were there yesterday in Domrep with the team. Talk to me about how close the Harborview team was, but of course, you know, unable to close out this one. Very close. Very good effort from, from the team, from the coaches, from the managers, from, from everyone on staff. I mean, as your, your clip just showed there, um, we played 90 minutes. We led 1-0. Um, they equalized, I think, about three or four minutes after we scored. And then we went for it again because we we're trying to snatch a 2-1 victory, as they did here. That would then extend the game into extra time, two halves of 15 minutes each, and then possible penalties. And we favored our chances the longer the game went. Um, as it was, we were pushing that envelope. And when six minutes of time were added, the, the last kick, as your clip showed there, was from um, God Stewart turning in the penalty area after he scored the, the, the opening goal, hitting the crossbar. The, the ball came back to Shaquille Bradford on his birthday, December 6th. Um, had that shot on goal, that's, that's Stewart. And that's Bradford. And the player was in the goal and was cleared from the goal line. And the, the officials said that they couldn't confirm that all the ball went over the line. So that last effort and that stroke of time was not awarded uh, to us. And we would have gone 2-1 and gone to 30 minutes more of added time, which we think being in season and then not in season for the last month would have been tipped in our favor with that momentum to go on and to win that game. Yeah, really, really unfortunate. Everything just working against. But Clyde, you know, apart from, you know, not progressing to where you wanted to, to the next level, what are some of the positives that you take away from this Harborview team, seeing them in action? And as I say again, you were there live, so you yes. got to see them up close. Definitely. Um... It's a new squad. We, we lost all our top six attacking players in the preseason of the 2023-24 Premier League season. Yeah. So our attacking force has been blunted. Um, three of the players went on international contracts. One went to uh, 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 another Jamaican club in, in Portmore. Um, one went to Portmore. One also went to, to Cavaliers. Um, and then we rejigged and they have been clicking well enough and been scoring goals regularly. Came up with a goal again last night, couldn't come up with two. And it has given them a chance to gel, gel early, gel longer, and to find some combinations. And that has been going well. Our disappointment has been our strong um, rock that we have depended on for the last two to three seasons, our defense. but. We just, at this moment, for the last nine or ten games, has just found a way to, to be given up goals. And that is the major concern um, of our team performance at the moment. We still have some of our senior players there, still have some new youngsters coming in. But the combinations, again, like last night, once we take the lead, we're not holding on and defending the advantages we have for a long enough period of time or keeping clean sheets. And that has deterred us from getting the results we need, as it did again last night. Yeah, so much was on the line last night, Clyde. An opportunity to qualify to the first round of the CONCACAF Champions Cup. With that now out of the way, what's the outlook for this Harborview team? 
Well, the outlook is to, to look internally at the, the um, Jamaica Premier League. We get back into action this weekend. I mean, I think we have Malines United to go up against. Um, the same form has, has been in, in vogue locally, scoring a goal or two. We have had two, two, two shots, um, but we're still giving up goals. So that is, is what we have to fix. The team is getting better, more understanding, battle hard. The team spirit is good. The effort is is getting better, and we expect the performance to to click in to top performances pretty soon. So yeah. local Premier League is where it's at. Yeah, yeah. You know, as you know, we carry the Jamaica Premier League um, competition, and in a discussion with one of our analysts um, a week or two ago, um, I, I made the point that the teams who played in the CFU, well, the CONCACAF Caribbean Cup tournament, have not started the Premier League flying, and uh, Harborview would be one of those. Um, can you pinpoint exactly why? Because from my standpoint, I definitely felt, because you were already in competition, that you probably would have made a, a faster start to the JPL season. That's usually true, Ricardo. And that's what we would have expected at Harbourview, being one of the three clubs. So let me tell you about Harbourview first. That Achilles heel, no matter what level you're playing, if you're giving up goals, you're at a disadvantage and you're at an endurance to yourselves. And we have been giving up goals, not just one, but two, uh, um, and, and very often. So that's our personal um, technical problem uh, and tactical problem that we are working to correct, first and foremost, as Harbourview. Two other clubs have been there, Dunby Olin. Um, I think it's fair to say that Coach Lenny Hyde is, is new to this team this year, and they haven't found their, their right blend as yet, even though they're, they are winning games while we are not. But Dunby Holden, like us, would have been expected to, to have started out at a brisker pace with advantages as, as, as a, a Premier League club who has been in the... CONCACAF Caribbean Cup. The third is Cavaliers. Cavaliers, like us, have been having to balance and concentrate and get consistent performances while playing games in catch-up. So we have been playing not just two games weekly, but three games weekly. And sometimes the concentration, the fatigue, and the focus, and Cavaliers, like us, have been more focused initially on the CONCACAF Caribbean Cup. That's what my suggestions would be for the three um, performances thus far. Right. And, you know, let's turn our attention now to the cup final where Cavalier is set to host Suriname's Robin Hood at Jamaica's National Stadium this evening. Robin Hood have a 1-0 advantage thanks to Dimitro Andros' 69th-minute goal in last week's first leg. Clyde, how much of a chance do you give Cavalier to turn this one on its head this evening? I, I give them a big chance. Um, watching the game last last week between both clubs, um, it was a thrilling game. The, the man of the match for Cavaliers was their goalkeeper. The man of the match for Robin Hood was their goalkeeper. So both teams went for goals. Both teams had good defensive network. Both teams had good transition. Both teams had a new a number of opportunities in goal modes and both teams goalkeepers came up big until that wonderful strike there um made the difference cavaliers it's if you're gonna lose the best way to lose is by a one nil margin and that's what you have so the first goal in this game is gonna be big yeah. if cavaliers can get that first goal and cavaliers in this performance this year in the CONCACAF Caribbean Cup have been noted to score goals in bunches, twos and threes, and they score them at the beginning of the half and they score them at the end of the first half. So if they can get into that bid and score goals, one or two, they're right in it and their defense, they tend to close ranks. Their strong point is their defensive network and counter-attack in transition. If they can get that game in their favor, they're on a good path. But this Robin Hood team, we would say, we have said earlier in the season, this to us is the best 
club in the competition performing. We played them, we beat them 3-2 inside the National Stadium, but it was a battle of exchanges. We were finishing well, even though conceding goals, two in that game. We finished well and outscored them 3-2. to two. I think Cavalier showed last week that they have the capability to do the same, need to do that tonight. Yeah, and I was reading a, a Jamaica Observer article and, of course, Cavalier's sporting director, Rudolph Speed, is quoted as saying, you know, the team is very optimistic. Just like you said, you know, they think they have a really good chance at closing this one out, winning but they have to be very, very aware. You know, he said they're not, the other team is not going to give up their advantage. So it's something that they really have to fight for. Do you agree with that? I agree with that. And that's what a final should be, as was our third place playoff last night. It, you, you need to put everything on the line. You need to, to, to throw defense, transition, attack, possession, tactics, technique. You need to throw the whole thing in the game and see who performs better on the night. And I think we saw that um, last night. I think we saw that in the first um, leg final of the playoff when Robin Hood came out at home as they usually do by a goal. Now let's see if Cavaliers can use their strong home advantage to do the same. They have been doing it well all this season in the CONCACAF Caribbean Cup. They need to do it tonight. All right, Clyde. Well, I want to thank you so much for stopping by on the Sports Max Zone. We'll chat again soon and looking forward to see who comes out trumps in tonight's match. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for having me. All the best. Thank you. And so Shin Cavaliers, all the best as well. Thank you so much, Clyde Giridini there. We're going to take a quick break and when we come back, we have a really exciting topic to talk about. So don't go anywhere. Yeah.